Hey, what up guys? This is Cody, and today I'm going to bring you another Minecraft video of showing you what I have done. And I made it a few changes, and I've also done something I've been wanting to finish for quite a while. The castle, guys, is finally complete. I finished the castle interior. I got all the traps and all the rest on and bits and stuff like that in there. I got the fully interior decorated. As you can see, if I go in here, oops, didn't mean to do that. But yeah, and I did kind of go for a neat, fancy style for this castle because I did want it to look nice and stuff. I didn't want to go too crazy, but yeah. And you also may notice the pictures on the walls. Yes, I do have a custom painting that I made on my own for a resource pack. Pack. So yeah. And of course, is Hydro and Ellie, as you can see. <laughs> but yeah. This is the castle, and it's it, it's a pretty good, nice interior, I believe. I mean, I think it's pretty good. It's not crazy and stuff, but yeah, it's a it's a nice interior. I decided I did try my I did try to do a good, very good interior and stuff. But what makes this castle special, like I said, it is filled with redstone goodies, especially these traps. So basically, this this has got this is kind of like that woodland mansion in out there. Well, I mean, not like that, but it's got, like, puzzles that you would find in something like that. So, in here is where the traps are. Right here, it says on the sign, say a warning. Enter at your own risk. Beware of deadly traps. Right here, it says, do not enter unless you want to die, be, uh, to be killed. And, yeah, they got it. That's pretty much true. But here's the inside, and there's two, uh, there's rooms in between the uh, traps, though. But as you can see, this is one room. And then right there, guys, is one of them. This right here, and this button right here is a code. There is a secret code in here that you got to find. A secret room that has a code. A lever lock, unlock password code that you have to uh, unlock. Because the only way you're going to get to these traps alive is to deactivate them. And the only way to do that is to find the secret room in the castle with the code. to enter the cor And you have to enter the correct code to, de to deactivate the traps. And that's the key here. So, because if you go through, like, let me tell you something. There's three pressure plates right there. You step on one, your life is gone. A, a these walls will come up, and a dang arrows, uh, Spencer's will disp uh, dispense and shoot out freaking rage of arrows at you. And you may think, oh, I could just walk out and I get killed. Nope, sorry. The walls on either side, that over there and over here, it comes up, blocking you in where you cannot escape. And I made also in it, and I also made a way where you can actually reset these traps too, because and stuff like that. And this one right here, it has to have arrows to refill the traps. So I also had to set up a command to use to refill traps. Because come on, nobody's gonna want to put all those dang arrows in each dispenser like that. It's crazy. But yeah, guys. There are a there are some secrets in here that you got to find to find that hidden room hidden room with the code to put the code in and it's a lever lock code but you have there's a button you got to press every time to enter your code basically I don't want to show you all that I'll let y'all explore that when y'all download the map guys this is gonna be pretty difficult now um. You may be thinking where, yes, you may be thinking the best way to hide something like that in a room is behind a painting. Well, truth be trolled, yeah, that's part true. But let me tell you something, guys. I made this trap so, I made this uh, way to uh, find a way into it because it could be behind anything. It could be behind one of these. It could, it could be behind the paintings too as well. It could be in the floor. It could be underneath the carpet. It could be anywhere in inside here, anywhere. And there's a way you have to do it too. You and there's a way you have to do it. You, I'll let y'all decide that on there. But it, trust me, guys, it's gonna be difficult to find that door, hidden door, or hidden passage in to the secret of uh, code room where you got to deactivate the traps. And then once you get through, once you get faith traps and gets through the traps, then that you can go to the final room, go up to the second floor, and then you'll find a very big surprise at the top. I ain't gonna tell y'all guys, I'll let y'all know, figure it out when y'all download the map. This is something y'all can explore. 
But yeah, guys, I filled this tra uh, tassel up with Dreadstone goodies and a lot of pa uh, secret, secret stuff and stuff like that. Passwords, codes, and puzzles and shit like that. But yeah, guys, this 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 is filled with this is filled with the brim with traps and redstone and stuff, the redstone goodies, pretty much. That's why I call this a redstone trap ca a castle. But yeah, guys, it is fully interiored. It has got everything in there, and stuff like that. But yeah, it's fully interiored, and I I'm proud of this. And then. Oh, we got to show you something I haven't I haven't showed you yet. So a change that I actually made to one of my pixel arcs, and that's this Elliot right here. If I go up and keep going up, you may will see something that you haven't seen before. Yeah, yes, guys, you see. And now he has an one of his antlers. Well, his antler really. So basically, I had to pretty much build this antler because, well, I didn't. I, I mean, I mean, I, I felt like he needed an antler. I mean, come on, he's Elliot. He's 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 a buck. He's a deer. He's a one antler deer. Come on, he got to have an antler. The reason why I didn't want to do this because, well, this is why. Look how close it comes to Hydronoid's um, wing. Like, look at this. It just come, it just like scrapes past his wing. Like look at that. It even touches it, I think. Yeah, it does. But yeah, guys, that's exactly why I didn't want to do that. But I actually turned out I need to feel like to be a big deal because it doesn't really make that big of a deal. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal at all, to tell you the truth. Not as big as I thought it would be, but Yeah, guys, I did put his antler on and I kinda did mess up right here. Look at this. Looks like it's kind of, yeah, I should have added a little bit more dirt and stuff like here and stuff. I probably should have not done as many gray in here. Probably put a little more dirt and a little birch wood maybe. Maybe it would have looked better. From here, actually, it looks like it's cracked. It looks like you got a cracked antler right there. But yeah, guys, that's what I made change to is to uh, uh, this Elliot of pixel art. But yeah. But yeah, guys, the map's almost done. Complete. Almost done. Only I got left is two more buildings. And that is the apartment building and the hydronoid scraper. Everything else is completely done. And y'all might notice this one house that I have so uh, not put an interior in. That's because I'm not going to put an interior on it. The reason why is because it's for sale. House for sale. Whoever buys it can put an interior in it. But I'm not. That's why I got a house for sale and I got a land for sale over there. House for sale, land for sale. That's why. That's why there's nothing there in that house. There's not why there's nothing there on that land because they're for sale. Two spots for sale. But yeah, guys. So that's coming to the end of the video. I um, mean, I'll uh, probably upload maybe either one or two more videos before I release this map. Hopefully, I've been saying yet, but then I've been yeah, I got. I mean, just. <laughs> Not been making up my mind really to tell you the truth. But yeah, guys, this is the map. It is it is almost finished completely. Look at it. We only got two more buildings left, so I'm proud to actually upload this map here very shortly. Been working on it for going on about close to 13 months now, I think. I think so, close to 13 months. But yeah, guys, that'll be it for today, and I'll see you next time when I upload another video. Alright, goodbye.